I'm your host, Dr. Turd Ferguson, and I'll be communicating to you this evening with my mind because of my freakishly large brain. And so our story begins. While searching for new resources, the newly empowered Dr. Sanders heard of a legend, the legend of the fifth floor lad. The legend spoke of a forgotten dinner lad inhabited by forgotten people, the Hydrocaloids. It had been said that the Hydrocaloids held the key to the creation of a dental lab, the likes of which this world had never seen. The warrior, Dr. Sneed, the trusty scribe, Dr. Duncan, and the sorcerer, Dr. Harry Hutchins, bred for his skills in magic, were the four truly brave souls that Dr. Sanders took with him. The valiant scout, Dr. Knight, was sent ahead, but never returned. God. Minutes into the expedition, our heroes were ambushed by the Hydrocaloids, who had not seen human flesh in a thousand years. From the start, it was looking grim for our heroes, and right when it appeared that things could not get any worse, the Lothar, king of the Hydrocaloids, attacked Dr. Sanders. Dr. Sanders and Lothar battled viciously amongst the treetops while Dr. Sneed with his dental floss and his drill and Dr. Harry with his magic turned the tides below. At one point, Dr. Sneed actually wrestled a Bengal tiger while Dr. Harry terrified the Hydrocaloids with his magic. Realizing that Lothar and the Hydrocaloids held the key to the new lab, Dr. Sanders pleaded for peace. He bargained with Lothar for his help in building the new lab. In exchange for his help, Lothar asked for only one thing. We need a human mother whose birth womb could bear our children. He required a wife. I have something for you. Something very deep. Something very, something that I love. I can offer my daughter, my only daughter, Allison, to you and your people. We will accept your Allison. And she'll be the mother of the Hydrocaloids. From here to kingdom come. Rise with <laughs> Little did Allison know that her father had already betrothed her to Lothar in exchange for the new lab. Were it not for this sacrifice, the state-of-the-art new simulation laboratory would have never been built. Welcome, Dr. Sanders. I'm going to present a new ACS River Simulation Laboratory. Allison, although shocked, accepted her fate. Her and Lothar were pronounced man and wife by the virtual marriage bot, Gina Five. Lothar, take Allison as your lawfully wedded wife. As my people say, Galangela. Do you, Allison, take Lothar as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold till death do you part? Allison, do you have anything to say? Live from Charleston, it's As the Night! It's As the Night Live! With Jay Bruce! Featuring Judson Suber, Allison Sanders, with Blake Kingsbury, and Surin Paravon, featuring Matt Morris, Jonathan Mitchell, with Malin Price, Mark Fowler, Keenan Leshalo, Laura Shade Solberts, Mary Beth.
Scott Forrest, Rebecca Sanders, Trey Clark, Shelly Irving, with Deb Desai, Alexis Pickens, Will Appear, Aaron Connor, Chris Latore, Mike Barno. Tonight, uh, I hope you are all having a wonderful semester. Uh, yes, you have a question, sir. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah. I have a question for you. Uh, is there any reason why you're not wearing pants? Because if you hmm. look at the literature, <laughs> okay, uh, sure. I'm pretty sure that it says uh, that to be the host of Ask sure. My Live, you've got uh, to wear pants. Okay, uh, that is correct. I'm not sure of uh, these pants, um, or what you speak of. But uh, I assure you, we will get on that right away. seems to be in order with the pants. Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Uh, Acid Etch is here. Also, Mrs. Oliver is here. So stick around. We'll be right back. 